Hey guys, Mike here. You know, if you're into tools like I am, you're probably going to love this battery-powered chainsaw. These are fairly new on the market. This is one of the higher rated ones, the Ego brand. Um, I looked it up on Amazon. It was pretty highly rated. A lot of people really liked it. So I need to cut a tree. A tree fell on my land. I need to get it cut down and I needed a new chainsaw. So I went out and bought this. I just wanted to show you. I'll do a little unboxing here. I'll give you a little review about how it works. Now these guys, they didn't pay me for this. They didn't send me this free or nothing. I went out and bought this. So I'll give you my honest opinion. I have, you know, nothing in it really other than I just want to see how it works too. See what comes in the box. All right, here's the, it comes with a 56 volt battery. Pretty rugged battery, pretty heavy. So there's the battery. It does come with a battery charger. It says it takes about an hour and a half to get it fully charged the first time. So I'll let you know how that goes. And there's the saw itself right here. It's got an 18 inch, 18 inch blade on it. Chains pretty tight when it comes on it. So basically, charge the battery, plug it in, and it's ready to go. So we're gonna get the battery charged. I'll go charge it, we'll, we'll see how long that takes, and we'll get right back to you here. All right, battery's all charged. That took about an hour. The way you put the battery in, it just slides right in here like this. Clicks in like that. Um, basically, the saw comes fully prepared. The only thing you need to buy is bar and chain lubricant. So you're going to want to get some of that. Here's where you put the bar and chain lubricant right here. Unscrew that. Want you to be able to see how easy it is. Unscrew that, dump that in there. And you're good to go with the bar and chain lubricant. So let's see how this is going to work. All right, so you got your bar and chain lubricant in there. There's a little window there. You can see how what level that's at. Um, one other feature they got on this, they got a little light on it, I guess. So if the power goes out, you need to cut something, you can have a little light on this thing. So basically, here's the safety. You hold the safety in, pull the throttle. You can go slow. That's basically it. If you need to remove the battery to recharge it, you just pull down on this, battery pops out, you take it out and go recharge it. All right, well, I got a tree to cut, so let's go over there and see how it cuts. All right, so this tree had fallen across my driveway, so I dragged it up here to make it a little easier for cutting. I started cutting it with, I had a Johnson Red, a gas-powered Johnson Red but that just quit on me and it wouldn't restart. Come to find out the piston in it was bad. So I'm like, well, I'm not gonna buy another gas powered one. I don't really cut that much. So that's why we're doing the battery powered one here. And we're gonna see how that goes. This is where I finished up with the Johnson Red. So I'll, I'll continue on here. This thing's about, oh, well, I don't know, 14 inches probably in diameter and the blade's 18. So let's see, it's probably kind of a big tree <laughs> to be starting with, but let's see how it handles it.
way this is situated, the way this is situated, I gotta just cut down through it a little bit, then try to roll it over. Otherwise, it's gonna pinch the blade in here. So um, I don't want to cut all the way th through and hit the concrete either. But it seems to be cutting it really, really good. So let's just keep going. Um, and then when I get a chance to turn it over, I'll turn it over and finish those cuts. I'm going to get my pinch bar and roll this over so I can finish these up. Alright, now, now that I got that turned over, I'm going to finish my cut so I don't hit the concrete.
again the ego 18 inch blade 56 volt battery powered as you can see it ate right through that pretty good uh, my first impression i'm pretty impressed pretty awesome i definitely highly recommend getting this if you've got some trees to cut um, big trees as you can see up there it was the the diameter was almost as wide as the blade probably 16 to 17 inches for the diameter of the tree and this thing ate right through it so again guys this isn't concrete work but <laughs> we all love our tools there's just one last thing before i go you know after cutting all that i just they have a little button you can check the battery life what's left on the battery because that's pretty cool so if you press this button right here on the battery it lights up it's got five lights so we still got three out of five left even after cutting that much tree with it so I just thought that was a pretty cool feature. I'm gonna highly recommend this tool. I'll have a link for it down in the description. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.